What's the story, Wishbone? What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination on such a little bug. What's the story, Wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kind of seems familiar, like a story from a book. Shake a leg now, Wishbone. Let's wag another tail. Sniffing out adventure with Wishbone on the trail. Come on, Wishbone. What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story? Wait, Mr. Delgado wanted to show us that new CD-ROM. Oh, yeah, forgot. Ooh, CD-ROMs? Hey, wait up, you guys. I happen to know all about CD-ROMs. You better let me show you how it works. Guys, hello? Door, please. I want to be one of the few, the proud, the educated. I want to go to school like Joe, Sam, and David. Hey, guys, ah! I knew you wouldn't forget me. Uh, whoops. Um, hello, sir. I'm here for the CD-ROM demonstration. No dogs allowed in school. Ooh, a good rule, sir. I'll let you know if I see any. Um... Uh, sir? Go on. Go on, Mutt. Mutt? Did he <laughs> say Mutt? Get out of here. Scat! Ah, scat! have you know I have three very good friends in there who come to school every day. Joe! Sam! David! Hey, you guys, come on! Open up! I want to be in there with you guys, just the way D'Artagnan wanted to be in the Musketeers. D'Artagnan was the handsome young hero of The Three Musketeers by French author Alexandre Dumas. D'Artagnan was just a puppy from the country who came to Paris in 1625. The city was torn between two leaders who both wanted all the power. Evil Cardinal Richelieu, boo, and the good King Louis XIII. The musketeers were on the good side. They were the king's personal guards. D'Artagnan arrived at their headquarters with nothing except his dogged determination to become a great musketeer. All right, people, let me in! Er, er. Okay, that's right. I'm big. I'm bad. I'm overwhelmed. Wow, these guys are good. Okay, <laughs> this is it. Don't be nervous. Just jump right in. <clears throat> Whoops. You clumsy wag! How dare you! Um, excuse me? Excuse me? You embarrass a musketeer and all you can say is excuse me? You need a lesson in manners, you insolent pup, and I'll be the one to give it to you. I challenge you to a duel tomorrow at noon near the Carme de Chaux. I'll be there, and we'll see who learns the lesson, monsieur. <laughs> you are too pretty. <laughs> Tell you oh, the time he I looks like a friendly fellow. Squindled off four of them. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh. Your cape is impressive, sir. R the fringe is coming unstitched. Who dares to pull on my cape? Are you trying to ambush me? Oh, no. You misunderstand. I? A musketeer? I misunderstand? Perhaps you can enlighten me. Tomorrow in a duel at noontime. Mm, I'm booked for noon. How's one o'clock? One o'clock. Neither come to show. <laughs> well, I'm certainly making an impression. <laughs> ah, a chance to do a good deed. You seem to have dropped your handkerchief, sir. It is not mine. <laughs> oh, it must belong to a lady friend. No, it does not. Could I have a moment alone with this mongrel? 
Since I am studying to be a priest, I could not possibly have a lady's handkerchief. Then why are you taking it? Your behavior is most rude. Meet me for a duel tomorrow near the Comte de Chaux. Mm, I can fit you in it too. So be it. Three duels in one day? Oh, I'll be a musketeer yet! Now I'm determined to get in. Time for Stealth Dog to go in under their radar. <laughs> okay, guys. Wait till I show you this new CD-ROM. Once you've seen the beauty of fractal geometry, you'll understand how math can be art. What's wrong? I think you crashed. I don't understand. Your port connections must be bad. Mr. Delgado, look. Well, it looks like something chewed it. Mort. Mort? Mort the lab rats? How could he get in here? Actually, he's been loose all week. He's chewed up half the school. This has got to stop. <laughs> the place looks as secure as a fortress, but there is always a weak spot. Hello, open window. What? A rat? They let a rat inside the school, but not a dog. Well, that's just fine. What is the world coming to? Still, I've got my opening. Stealth Dog discovers the secret entrance and makes his move! Whoa! Oh! Ouch. Stealth Dog is inside at last. I just hope I'm not in over my head. Well, now I guess I'll see if my bite lives up to my bark. Good day, monsieur. Am I late? No, no, I'm early. My seconds should arrive soon and then we can begin. Who will be your seconds? Nobody. I'm new in town and I don't know anyone. My name is D'Artagnan. Atos! I am supposed to fight this man at one o'clock. And I at two. I have the pleasure first. Unfortunately, he may be unable to keep his appointments with the two of you. Are you ready? I am always ready. <laughs> you know, young man, you have a noble heart. <clears throat> Under different circumstances, we might have become friends. Well, let's begin. Stop, musketeers! I command you to stop in the name of his eminence, Cardinal Richelieu. The Cardinal has issued an order that expressly forbids dueling. We serve his majesty, the king. And we won't be told what to do by any of Richelieu's lackeys. Is that a threat? Consider it an invitation. <laughs> then you leave us no choice but to attack. Gentlemen, there are five of them and only three of us. That's where you're wrong. There are four of us. But you're not one of us. I have the heart of a musketeer. Let me prove it to you. to be more of a challenge. <laughs> this is the part where you say to shake. Go on. Thank <laughs> you. 
There will be absolutely no backstabbing in this duel! Well done, young friend. I know that I am not yet worthy to be a musketeer, but will you allow me to serve as your apprentice, gentlemen? Not only our apprentice, but our friend. We will groom you for service as a musketeer and teach you all our best tricks. I am Atos. This is Portos and Aramis. We are known everywhere as the three inseparables. You, D'Artagnan, are now a member of our club. All for one and one for all. Shall we make that our motto? Let's put out our hands in agreement. All for one, and one for all! Look at all the stuff. Well, it's not exactly the executive suite, but you've got to start somewhere. I've tried everything to catch that rat. He's smarter than you think. <gasps> Stealth Dog looks for the scent. I smell a rat. Well, Mort is costing us money by destroying school property. You're right. Well, today's the day. I'm going to get him. Oh, I'll get him. I'm the best rodent catcher in town. No, seriously, I am. Even cats come to me for advice. I've got my assignment. I'll show them they can't run this school without me. Well, I'm going to go to the hardware store and load up on traps. And we'll go pick up a new power cable for the computer. Thanks, guys. with your beady little eyes where I can see them and nobody gets hurt. Playing hard to get, huh? Well, this school isn't big enough for the two of us. Stealth Dog understands the value of concealment. Now, which way did he go? I'm on his turf, and he's a clever opponent. So, think rat. Ah, the science lab. This is where it all started. If I just put my nose to work, I'm sure I'll find something. Hey, you there! You seen a rat? Uh, we'll talk later. Okay. Ah! I know he's close. I'm silent as a panther, quick as a fox, nerves of steel! Oh, rat! Big hairy rat! Oh, did you see the face on that thing? Face to face with your enemy, just like D'Artagnan. Bonjour! Anybody home? You are D'Artagnan. Wow! From Bern. Cardinal Richelieu. Sit down here before me. You came to Paris seven months ago. Why, yes. Your friendship with Messieurs Athos, Portos, and Aramis of the King's Musketeers has brought you much adventure. What? How did you know? It is my business to know. You are brave, Monsieur. And you are prudent, which is better still. Young as you are, you have created some powerful enemies. If you do not take great heed, they will destroy you. But what can I do? You could choose to serve another master. Me. Sorry. I came here to be in His Majesty's Musketeers. Monsieur! You came to Paris with the ambitious idea of making your fortune. I am at the age of extravagant hopes. There are no extravagant hopes except for fools. Serve in my guards. Let me guide you. 
Sorry, I won't just roll over on my friends. You refuse me? Please try not to take it personally, your eminence. Kill Dimash. Remember, at a later period, if any mischance should happen to befall you, I offered you protection. I'll just see myself out. The Cardinal wasn't D'Artagnan's only problem. He made another enemy, Milady, a cat who purrs one minute and scratches the next. How could I be a Cardinal's guard? Ridiculous! Perfectly correct, monsieur. What? Oh, you are so beautiful. I thought you were a piece of art. You are too kind. And too handsome. I am D'Artagnan. A musketeer. I know you already. You may address me as Milady. I have a question. Shoot! Why do you waste your time with those rough musketeers? You could live in the lap of luxury. My lap, to be precise. I swore a duty to the king. The king is weak. Stick with the strong. I am sorry, Milady, but this dog won't hunt for you. You can trust my word. No offense! I never take offense. I take revenge. You're a dead dog. <laughs> Portos, where are Aramis and Athos? D'Artagnan, what is wrong? Well, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that I've just met Cardinal Richelieu and Milady. And? And the bad news is that they hate me. They have spies everywhere. You must be careful, my friend. We will be on guard for you. Your enemies are our enemies. Thank you, my friends. I'll see what I can sniff out. <laughs> Don gone it. Lost the scent. He could be anywhere. Huh? Well, now there's something you don't see every day. If what I know about gravity is true, any minute now that thing is gonna... Whoa! What the... Aha! A vicious sneak attack, huh? Okay, rat. Now it's personal. Hmm. I could really use some reinforcements. D'Artagnan had the three musketeers to help him catch his enemies, Richelieu and Milady. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Down. Just give me that. Let's walk in the garden. It's lovely this time of year, Cardinal Richelieu. What did you wish to speak to me about? As one of my most successful spies, milady, I must now ask you to carry out a very dangerous mission. Tell me what it is. I want you to assassinate the Duke of Buckingham. He's an enemy of France and must be removed. I'll do it. As long as I get something in return. I'm not a mere cat's paw. A mere tool to be used. I have my price. Name it. Allow me to kill that wretched D'Artagnan. But he is a courageous young fighter. That's why he's so dangerous. He fights for the wrong side. I'll trade you. A life for a life. Hmm. Very well. I did warn him he could get hurt. I'd like your permission in writing, just so there's no confusion later. <laughs> Thank you, Your Eminence. Ah, a card loss. How comforting. I must go now. Let me leave first. We mustn't be seen together.
<laughs> Sculpture is so lifelike these days, isn't it? What do you want from me? How dare you spy on me? You'll suffer for this. I'm not afraid of you. Hand over the carte blanche. Never. This is my passport for revenge. Please, be reasonable about this. If you want it, you'll have to take it from me. We asked you nicely. Milady, the paper, please. A token of our appreciation. <laughs> Milady turned D'Artagnan in as a traitor. But the musketeers had an ace up their sleeves, the carte blanche. It's like the ultimate hall pass. It means you can do anything you want, anytime you want. D'Artagnan, I seek you in the name of the king. You are under arrest. You have got to be kidding. Surrender your sword to me, monsieur. I'm ordered to present you to his eminence, Cardinal Richelieu. How convenient. We just happen to be going that way. He must be put under my guards. We will be his guards. Upon our word. Upon our word. D'Artagnan shall not leave us. Stealth Dog recognizes the advantage of having a good lookout point. You. I'm on a stakeout. Shh. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to put you out. I don't think so! Hey, did you just see a big furry? Run! Big run! This is it! Joe! Sam! David! We've got him now! He's up the other stairs! Where's he going? Follow me! Mr. Brownsfield! You ignored my warnings, young man. Serious charges have been brought against you. You will probably hang for them. Oh, I very much doubt that, Your Eminence. Do you realize that I am both judge and jury? Exactly. And you've already written my pardon. Take a gander at this carte blanche. It is by my order and for the good of the state that the bearer of this has done what he has done. Recognize the handwriting? I believe it is mine. I have taken from you one carte blanche to give you another. This is a commission to be a lieutenant in the Musketeers. The name is blank. You may write it yourself. I have three friends who deserve this more than I do. You are a brave youth, D'Artagnan. Do with this commission what you will. I mean it. One of you should take this. Nobody is more worthy than yourself. Of course. I taught him everything he knows. Is that so? On guard. On guard. As you wish. <laughs> a musketeer and a lieutenant. This is a dream come true. On guard! All for one, and one for all. All right, we've got him cornered now. Okay, Mr. Brassfield, take over! That's it, get him! Pounce on him, grab him! Get Oh, yeah. That was really impressive. Way to take charge. Well, he got bigger. Uh-huh. Never send a man to do a dog's job. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, plan. Plan. Need a plan. Quick plan. Ah! I've got the right altitude. Stealth dog to bombardier. We have the target in sight. Ready? 
Aim. Bombs away! Yes, sir! And here comes the cavalry. Late as usual. Mr. Brassfield, I'm sorry. I don't know how Wishbone got in here. Oh, don't apologize. He caught Mort. Thank you, citizen. All in a day's work for Stealth Dog. As far as I'm concerned, any time he wants to come to school, he can be my guest. Yes! Let's take a tour right now! Woo! <laughs> Oops. I changed my mind. No dogs in school. Here we go again! Come back to you. Stop! One of the funnest things about doing the fantasy segments on the show is I no longer have the furriest face. In fact, compared to these guys, I look downright clean-shaven. Getting into makeup can be a hassle. Mm. But all-natural vegetable dye sure does taste good. Human makeup reacts very differently to animal fur, so kids, don't put makeup on your pets. The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas is loaded with heroic deeds, damsels in distress, and lots of guys with hairy faces. See ya! <laughs>